in a long, long time. This year, they retired Kobe Bryant's two numbers, number eight, number 24, but you forget how long it's been. A lot of young pieces. We'll see if Luke Walton can get them over the top. Well, they may not be winning championships, but you love the fact that they're moving in the right direction. They have 35 wins in the 2017-2018 season. That's the most wins they've had in their franchise since 12 and 13. That's incredible, and they're doing it with youth young assets. You think about Lonzo Ball, Rob Palenka, and Magic Johnson took a chance on him with the second pick in the draft. He's done exceptionally well his rookie year. Got a couple of triple doubles, really found his way. It's going to be great to see a young point guard go against a veteran like CP3, who we all know is fiery defensively, will try to make life difficult for Lonzo bringing the ball to court. To James. A bad pass as the Rockets come away with it. Over to the right side. Paul buries it on the catch and shoot. That shot was nice, but that pass, that was the real highlight. Good teams always find a way to get the best shot available. To Ball. Slams it down. It's easy to become mesmerized when you watch a player who can create off the dribble. We call that dancing. When you allow a player to dance with that much space, that's a prob city. Harden, they get it down to Paul. Had a good look there, but it's no good. Almost unlucky bounce. Paul into the front court. He'll run the offense to Capella. Knock loose. Capella. From the painted area, won't go down. And one of the most underrated things in this game is quick lateral speed. Good job by utilizing that speed and taking away the lane. Gets a look, can't hit. Ball with the basketball. Looking to make something happen. LeBron James. Missed his first, that one goes. The maturity of one of the game's greatest on full display. Yeah, LeBron James still proving that he can get up there with the highest of the high, but still, I love the fact that he recognizes less is more now. LeBron James 2007, every play is a dunk. Now, it just happens once in a while. Enjoy the greatness. Lonzo with it, leads a bucket. Lazy pass there, and it's intercepted. James, great feed, sets it up. Yes, and a foul. He'll have a chance at a three-point play. Huh, he should get some kind of acting award. That's a great sell by the offensive player. But guess what? The ref spit, and that's the game. Unable to connect on the free throw. Paul across the timeline. Trailing by four. Harden couldn't keep it in. Off James Harden. Shifting gears. Here come some substitutions. For Los Angeles, number nine, Rashad Rondo. Rockets come up with it. Paul. 4-3. His first effort off the mark. Just because you're an elite shooter doesn't mean you need to shoot the ball every possession. Maybe give a head fake, crack into the defender, get to the free throw line, see the ball go in the hole. Screen coming. Caldwell Pope matched up with Harden. Down for McGee. Oh, great pass. Setting up the basket. Great job using that shoulder to create contact with the defender without hesitation. Paul to Harden. Working and a putback slam. Woo, that's nasty right there. Rondo into the front court. They lead it. Four point game. Knocked loose. For Reed. To Capella. Rondo with the basketball. Exactly a minute to go here in the opening quarter. Caldwell Pope here against Harden. 
deep right corner. Nothing going here on that drive to Caldwell Pope. Keep on trying. Shots no good there. Gordon with it. They can get a two for one if they play this right. Finish that. A pass taken away by the Rockets to Capella. Chance for Chris Paul. Missed it. He always has the green light, but the defense was ready. And that's how you close out on a shooter with a sense of urgency. The shooter was more worried about his landing space than he was the shot. Harden cleans it up. Slams it home on the putback. First quarter in the books. The Lakers have the lead. It goes down. Time to turn the page after a close first quarter. Jay. What stood out? Both teams are trying to feel each other out, but I like the aggression that both teams established in the first quarter. This is the first quarter league. The way you play in the opening minutes really sets the tone for the rest of the game. Jay, Magic and Kobe each won five titles. How are you going to judge LeBron James' legacy in L.A.? <laughs> LeBron James wins one championship in L.A. That means he will set himself apart. He will have won four championships in three different cities. Now, that is polarizing for some fans. That still does not take away from the overall greatness and the legacy of LeBron James. Here's CP3. Ooh, Chris Paul. Two or four now. When the ball is in his hands, we all knew what was going to happen. McGee powers it through. Well, they have such great flow to their offense this evening. The ball isn't sticking to one player individually. It's moving around the perimeter, and it's zipping. They're playing with a special cohesiveness. Ah, oh, missed it. How'd that not go down? To James. Throws it down. I don't know if the scouting report has made its way out here yet, but if anything, it says you need to not let him get that close to the rim. Here's Paul, controlling the offense. Finishing inside the paint on that one. It looks like he's using his ball handling to feel the game out. I know it looks like he's just playing around out there, trying to get the fans going. That is true, but he's also finding his rhythm. Both coaches dipping into their reserves. Changes coming onto the floor. LeBron into the front court. Leads four. Baseline drive. To Kyle Kuzma. Oh, a lot of contact. Shots no good and no foul. Harden into the front court. Down four. To Paul. Let's it fly from long range. And Chris Paul, he's been doing that for years. Wide open look, and he buries it. When you look at playmakers in the last decade plus, what sets Chris Paul apart? He always puts you in a position to succeed. He leads because he's vocal. And when he directs and he guides, there is nobody better at the position than CP3. LeBron matched up with Paul. Clint Capella sends it away. Just incredible timing on that swap. Paul had made his first couple, but he misses there. Shoot or shoot, period. I don't want to hear any excuses. That's why you're on the floor. You keep doing what you're doing with that superior confidence. 
LeBron James. He's three of five. Sixty percent shooting from the field. You see, you can't actually get mesmerized by the ball. You actually have to focus on the dribbler's belly button. I know that may sound cheesy, but trust me, he can't go anywhere without his core. Knocked loose. Stuffs it down with authority. And when you get your prescription, you take your medicine and you call it a day. Shot from the lane won't go. Capella goes to the right side. Here's a chance from long range, and he knocks it down, Jay. And this squad just continues to light it up from long range. One of the things I learned about teams like this, teams that fall in love with a three-point shot, as quickly as they built the lead is as quickly as they can lose it if they're over-reliant on the three-point shot. Kuzma to James. LeBron James. He's now four for six. This offseason, I heard so many voices, even that of the great Shaquille O'Neal, talking about how LBJ needed to submit his own legacy. Well, for LeBron, it's not about chasing external accolades. It's about hunting your own legacy, and that's to be the greatest of all time. set to make some moves right now. And now Houston has the basketball. Harden. He was all over. To James. Ah, no good. Harden. Capella down low. That one out of bounds off a rocket. To James. Nice pace, sets it up, and slams it down. Well, when you play for each other and not just for yourself, that's when great things happen. You essentially lose yourself in what the team is trying to accomplish. It's called unselfish basketball. And there's nothing more beautiful than rewarding your teammate with a nice pass and letting them finish for two or three points. Lakers at the controls right now. Tough make through traffic. Defenders had no chance on that one. That's why we call it the elite tier. Gordon with it. The margin is two. Halftime on the horizon. Capella to Harden. Going to launch beyond the arc with James Harden, muscle memory. Gets it to go. Ed, let me tell you how this one goes. It ain't no fun at the homies tonight. Bullock, guarded by the former Dukey. Nothing going here on that drive. To James. Yes, and the foul. And a chance at three coming up. And I love the smile on the face of the offensive player. Sometimes luck is on your side. I don't know how that shot went in, but and one. Missed the foul shot. James Harden fires for two. James Harden, he's three for seven. So a tight one as we reach the break in a one-point game. Let's get you to Orlando where we say hello to Jalen Rose in our EA Sports. A lot of intrigue to come in this second half. A one-point game as we resume play here in the third quarter. Lonzo Ball with the rock.
JaVale McGee to ball. Fires the three and knocks it down. Yeah, and what we're seeing is a brilliant offensive display. You have ball movement, player movement, and great shooting to top it off. You get those three things going, you're going to be a dynamic offensive unit. Gerald Green gets it in the right corner. Beyond the arc for three. That's off the side of the rim, no good. To ball. And the basket good at the rim. That's a strong finish. Regardless of contact, finishing strong is key. Fires the three. Defense was ready. Tough shot for Austin Rivers. Kuzma to ball. Nothing going here on that drive. Here comes the screen. Lonzo Ball matched up with Rivers. Kuzma to Stevenson. Has a look. Just off the mark. To Fareed. Not that time. Couple of cracks at the line now. No, no, no. I'll tell you, the team that makes the little mistakes, like committing unnecessary reach-in fouls like that, will be the team that ends up with the L. First free throw is good. Goes two for two. To Caldwell Pope. Kentavious Caldwell Pope. Small sample size, but making the most of it. He's one for two. Rivers to bring it into the front court. His guys trail now by four. JaVale McGee sends it away. That kid can block out the sun, Ed. Lance Stevenson with the dunk. I mean, defense, is it that easy? Can I see some reaction after somebody gets an easy dunk? Some yelling, some kind of emotion? I need you to get involved back in this ballgame. Fareed to Gerald Green. From long range, that's off the side of the rim, short. And look, sometimes you don't have it going every single night. Maybe utilize yourself as a decoy and get some teammates involved with your passing. Green with the basketball. The deficit is six. Oh, good defense by the Lakers. They come away with the steal. You know, Ed, sometimes you're just more ready to play than your opponent. The intensity and the effort is off the charts. Rivers into the front court. Looking to make something happen. The pass taken away by the Lakers. Caldwell Pope. That one out of bounds off a rocket. Changes coming from both sides right now. James, deep left corner. To James. Let's it fly from beyond the arc. Oh, LeBron James. Not much more the defense could have done. He hits the contested three. This is a game of ways. As a defense, you have to recognize that they come and they go. That will not be the case all the time moving forward. Changes on the court. Rockets have the ball. Paul. Well defended. And big time coaching strategy by the staff right there. Utilizing their bench, keeping fresh legs on that shooter consistently throughout the course of the game. Over to the right side. Lonzo Ball. Off the mark to Caldwell Pope. For three. Not going down here. Four, three. Can't connect. And there's always so much talk about defense. How about offensively? If you continue to attack that shooter, now you're making him work on the defensive end that makes him take his legs away on the offensive end. That's going to be out of bounds. Last touch by Gordon. So it stays with the L.A. Lakers. Time for some new personnel into the game. Ball. 
deep right corner. Shot clock winding down. Let's it fly from long range. Smothering D. Great contest by the D, but I want to see the coaching staff call the same exact play the next possession. Get that offensive player the ball. Let him prove that it wasn't the D. It was more in his own head. Ball into the front court. Less than a minute to go in this third quarter. Rockets have the steal. To Paul. Ah, can't miss those. Caldwell Pope. P.J. Tucker snatching it out of the air. And he's fouled. Nice move that time, and he's going to the line for two. I don't know about that one, Ed. I always thought your hand was part of the ball. Mike Mascala, a couple of free throws on the way. A career 84% free throw shooter. And hits the first free throw. Two for two on that trip. Way to hit. Way to hit. Harden has it up the floor to P.J. Tucker. Harden buries it on the catch and shoot I know he's a volume shooter I know defensively at times you have to take your lumps might be time to adjust the scouting report though start denying him the ball ball with it up top his team leads it by 10 missed the wide open look and this is where you know you have the offense right where you want them. Every possession, all you see them doing is complaining to the ref, complaining to each other. You're making the game uncomfortable. That's the mark of a good defense. Just inside the arc, at the buzzer, cash is in. Someone has to get into a zip code. Third quarter comes to an end. The fourth quarter on the way. So far, it's been all Lakers. It'll be Rockets basketball here as we start the fourth quarter. And I think the best way to describe where they stand right now is they're down, but they're not out. It's a game we used to play in the league all the time. It's called a series of stops. That means get three stops in a row. Each game is a game within the game. You get three stops in a row, and then another three stops in a row, you're right back in this ballgame. Ball. And count the basket. Good shot. to Paul. Here's a chance from long range. Tough shot. Well defended. Tucker. Oh, good defense by the Lakers. They come away with the steal. Tonight, it may not cost you, but in the playoff game, it will. Rises for the slam. Well, we got a chance to firsthand watch something be created. I think we just watched an epidemic of passing. I've never seen something like this before. It was so contagious, everybody started to do it, and it ultimately led to the other team's demise. If that's an epidemic, sign me up. Going to launch, beyond the arc. Yes, give the advantage to the shooter. I love the pure confidence on that jumper. He takes that three despite the defender being right in front of his face. That's borderline disrespectful. Rondo against Harden. To Stevenson. Shot clock winding down. Short jumper off the mark. Gordon with it. His guy's down 11. Fires the three, buries it. For average shooters, that's not a great shot. But for a great shot, shooter <laughs> that's a good look now the lakers are going to call a timeout as they'll make sure they're all on the same page here in the fourth quarter i think everyone in this building knows it's going to come down to the last two minutes this game is going to be won with who decides to really show up on the defensive end of the ball
coaches hitting the reset button. Fresh legs coming onto the floor. James picked up by Rivers. He throws it down. These are missed opportunities. When a guy puts his head down, the help defender closest to the ball, you need to get your hand and scrape inside there. If he has his head down, he can't see you coming from the blind side. Shot from in close, no good. Gordon with it. His guys trail by 10. Beyond the arc for three. Not that time. He missed it. James can't connect. It's no good. Capella to Rivers. The drive right to the basket. Has a chance. Deep two there. Won't go. Here's the three. Off the mark. No good. Harden. Great defense. Forcing the miss. Ball with the basketball. Lead stands at 10. And he finishes at the rim. Man, that may not have been a gimme but that layup at the rim definitely chips away at the pride of the defense. Harden in possession. He'll run the offense from long range. And James Harden, well defended, still gets it to go down. Even though the coach initially may not like that shot, now he's clapping because that ball went in. And the defender over pursues, and he's called for it. Welcome to new age basketball. You blow on me, that's a foul. LeBron James, defended by Rivers. to ball. A oh, big finish at the rim. Good finish. Good finish. If you didn't dunk that, then we would have to talk about it. Paul lets it fly from beyond the arc. Now that's a contest. To ball. Off the assist. Strong finish. That's what you need regardless of contact focusing on the rim. Give him two points. High percentage. There you go. I like seeing his scoring coming from unlikely sources. To James. To Ball. And that's going to get out of bounds. Off of Harden. Lobs it up. Trouble getting the ball across half court. Screen come, screen come. Whoops, that won't go. 